I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and not everybody needs a $199 device or a $299 super phone. They don't need the high-end displays, the 8 megapixel cameras. Well, for that person, Sprint has the LG Viper 4G LTE. When the LTE is available on Sprint, this device is going to take advantage of it. It's going to take advantage of it for $100. bucks. let us check it out in the full unboxing. Yeah, sure, you're right. There's no LTE on Sprint just yet, but they've announced a bunch of markets and they're not wasting any time in getting 4G LTE devices available through the retail channels. This is the LG Viper 4G LTE on Sprint. This is a little bit more of a reasonably priced uh, smartphone on Sprint. This thing's going to be available for $100, and actually it's available now at Sprint and online at Sprint.com. And it comes in an eco-friendly box. You can see dual-core processor package is 100% recyclable. And then out of the box, you get the LG Viper. You get a standard lithium-ion battery, an energy-efficient phone charger, get started guides, micro SD memory card, which is installed, and some wireless recycling stuff as well. Before we get into that, special thanks to Best Buy Mobile for hooking us up with phones like this. For use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, when you go into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working to help you set up your email, your web, your contacts. When you walk out the door with your new LG Viper, you're set up and good to go and you don't have to waste time doing it. So here's the LG Viper. Special thanks to Sprint as well for hooking us up with a demo unit. Now, hey, there's my uh, there's my number. So, uh, so call me maybe. Ha, uh, ha, that's my bad Friday joke. So you can see LG Viper here. Get started guide. And as always, we'll go through these because it's kind of fun. Get started. All you need to know to get going. Vamos, todos lo que tienes que saber para empezar. Important information for the LG Viper 4G LTE. Now this, like I said, is an LTE device. No markets available yet. Now the downside to this, and this is your uh, wireless recycling bag, by the way, the downside to buying an LTE device right now is obviously the fact that, and I probably should go through this before I actually talk about this. Thank you for purchasing your LG Viper. Make sure it's on a CTMA, or CDMA and LTE uh, auto network setting. And then out of the box, you get some charging stuff here. You get an LG travel adapter. And these look a little bit different. And when you really think about it, this thing is a close, uh, close sibling to the LG Lucid, at least uh, in terms of look and feel and functionality, although it packs some added features. This thing has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S3 processor, a four inch LCD with 480 by 800 pixels. This is your AC adapter module, by the way. You get a uh, 1,700 milliamp hour battery, a five megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording, a front facing shooter, and of course, uh, NFC or uh, near field communication capabilities on this bad boy as well, so you can take advantage of Google Wallet and things like that. It also has Android 2.3, and it's a stock build of Android 2.3, so no ice cream sandwich. If you want an ice cream sandwich, pay that extra 100 bucks and you need to get the Galaxy Nexus or the, uh, LG, or the uh, HTC Evo 4G LTE, but you get the USB cable as well, and then down in here you get nothing. It's just a pretty little box that uh, folds up inside of another box. That's that's special, right? That's pretty cool. You know, we all I love boxes. Boxes are fun. So 1,700 milliamp hour battery, location privacy, and you can see it's a smaller device. Now this is a four inch display. I've said several times. I think four inches is a great uh, medium for a lot of people. And you can still kind of see the form factor here and how, even though there's some differences, chrome around the sides, different battery door, it still kind of resembles the LG Lucid. But like I said, five megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording. You've got your power button up here, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top, your volume rocker over here, micro USB charging port, and then on this side you have nothing except for some little, little hard to see stickers that are covering up the chrome. So we'll get those off a little bit later. We'll power it on and take a look. Now this is an LTE device, and what I was saying a minute ago is it doesn't have WiMAX capabilities uh, behind the scenes. It's literally just CDMA, EVDO, and LTE. So when you get LTE in your market, that's gonna be great, but if you're in an area right now, like Charlotte, for example, that has WiMAX, so it has Sprint's existing 4G technology, but it doesn't have LTE, you may be taking a step back if you move from an L uh, a WiMAX device like the Epic 4G Touch to this, you're gonna go from 4G to 3G. Now long-term LTE is the way to go, but, uh, but still, that's something you may have to deal with, you know, and if you're not used to Sprint's frustrating 3G speeds, to say the least, you may want to take a look at those, at least kick your old device back down to 3G before you commit to using 3G, at least for a couple of months while Sprint rolls out uh, 4G LTE. But you can see out of the box here, your five home screens, Android 2.3 out of the box, pre-installed gingerbread, and you can see very similar to uh, the Nexus S 4G prior to the update to ice cream sandwich. The Sprint ID is down here pre-installed. You've got your shortcuts or your little short dots down here where I can press and hold those and see all my home screens and scroll back and forth. And then out of the box, we do get some Sprint goodies. You get, and you can see some minor changes here. This, you know, it is a stock ice cream sandwich build for the most part, but you're gonna see some LG customizations like the camcorder and the camera icons. You'll notice those are not stock. 
uh, not stock gingerbread. I think I said ice cream sandwich. I meant gingerbread, but those are not stock uh, gingerbread icons. You get Google Plus integration out of the box as well and uh, Google Plus Messenger. Then you get some Sprint goodies, NASCAR, Sprint Cup Mobile, Sprint ID, Smart Share, you get Google Shopper, Polaris Office, Sprint Music Plus, Sprint NBA Mobile, Sprint TV, Sprint Zone, Telenav GPS, you get Visual Voicemail, then you get Google Wallet pre-installed as well. Now as for the Sprint stuff that can be uninstalled, let's take a look and see what we can see here. Uh, let's go to Applications, let's see if we can get rid of those. You can install third-party applications, but it looks like the Sprint stuff for the most part is on there and is on there to stay. So we'll load up, of course, Sprint ID probably. Okay, let's try this, Sprint Music Plus. Let's see if we can uninstall it. Good, looks like we can uninstall Sprint Music Plus. We can uninstall Sprint TV if we want to. So you can uninstall most of that Sprint stuff, but I have a feeling uh, Sprint ID, I strongly doubt you can, yeah, you can uninstall Sprint ID, so that's something to have uh, to keep in mind. But it looks like a decent device, five ounces here in terms of weight. It has a nice feel in the hand because it is more of a smaller device, so it's easier to grip. You can see my finger goes from one side to the other, so for people with smaller hands, this may be a better device to go with. And then down here at the bottom, you get your home, your menu, your back, and then your search buttons. And let me bring this in a little bit so you can take a look at that as well. So obviously going back to gingerbread, it's a little bit different to see the four buttons as opposed to uh, the three buttons. Let's take a look at messaging here and we'll compose a message and take a look at the keyboards that come pre-installed. So we'll load up a new message here. Swipe out of the box as well as the uh, stock Android keyboard. Now again, going back to gingerbread, after using ice cream sandwich, you'll see the gingerbread keyboards pre-installed, although the transition effects are reasonably fast uh, on this device. So we'll say, you know, quick round Fox. Uh, Fox is ready for a restful weekend. Quick Brown Fox is ready for, what I was trying to say, the Quick Brown Fox is ready for a restful weekend. That didn't quite come out the way I intended it to say, uh, but you've got Swipe as well, and you can always install third-party keyboards from the Android market. Now, before we go, let's take a look at, actually, a couple of things. Let's pull out the, uh, the phone application here, and bear with me, I want to make sure the PR people uh, didn't do a test call, and they didn't uh, before they sent it out. I just want to make sure there weren't any numbers uh, in there. So you can see the typical dial pad here, typical stock uh, gingerbread, after saying stock ice cream sandwich for so long in videos, it's really hard to say stock gingerbread. It's kind of like a step back. But we'll see phone dog. And again, you know, yeah, it is a step back in comparison to ice cream sandwich on some of these newer devices, but this thing's available for $99.99. So, you know, you're getting a little bit of a price break. The downside to that is you're getting gingerbread out of the box. So we'll load up phone dog and see if it loads in time before we uh, shut the video camera off. But phone dog's loading up right now. Again, transition effects nice and fast. And it's a good looking device. The chrome, a kind of a chrome silverish. Uh, battery door gives it a nice high-end feel to it, so even though it's a hundred dollar device, it has a good feel to it, and the chrome on the front makes it look like a nice unit as well. And I don't have any phones right beside me here while I'm shooting this video, or else I'd show you a comparison, but this thing is a uh, tiny in comparison to the One X, or you know, especially tiny in comparison to the Galaxy Note, so that's something to keep in mind. If you like a meatier device, this may be a little bit too small for you. Otherwise, typical gingerbread here, but it's packing 4G LTE on Sprint. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with the LG Viper 4G LTE. We're going to put this thing to the test, have some dog fights between this thing and the Evo 4G LTE and the Sprint version of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So stay tuned, PhoneDog.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Let me know what you think of this device. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. And hit up our rankings program as well, PhoneDog.com slash rankings. Cast your vote for your favorite smartphone. And who knows, it could be number one that next week. PhoneDog.com slash rankings. That's where you can find PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings page. And as for that, that's all I got. PhoneDog's loading up and you can see pinch to zoom. Relatively responsive, pretty, pretty nice comparatively speaking, especially given the fact that the page is still loading thanks to Sprint's uh, less than adequate 3G data speeds in a lot of markets. We'll keep analyzing that, so stay tuned on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the Viper 4G LTE. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.